tightness test, select tightness on the rotary switch. The pump stops and it tells you to press the pump button to zero the pressure sensor. When you do this, make sure you have no hose connected to the analyzer. It asks us if we want to do a let-by test. Use either of the scroll buttons to change that to yes, and then press the send button or enter. So it's now ready for us to connect the hose. I've connected the hose from P1 on the analyzer to the test point on the pressure meter. I'll now increase the pressure to 10 millibars. When the let by pressure has been set to 10 millibars, press the send button to start the test. P1 is the pressure at the start of the test, P2 is your current pressure, and the instrument automatically times the test for one minute. This can be changed by the menu. As the instrument gets to the end of the let by test, check the figures to make sure that there is no let by. If you're happy with the let by test, you can then continue to the stabilization. Now set the stabilization pressure to 20 millibars. When the stabilization pressure has been set to 20 millibars, press the send button and the instrument automatically times the stabilization for one minute. Again, this can be adjusted via the menu. When the stabilization test has completed, press send to start the actual tightness test. P1 is the pressure at the start of the tightness test. P2 is the current pressure and again, there's an internal clock to time the test for 120 seconds. That time can be adjusted via the menu. The tightness test has now been complete. The results have been logged in the memory as test number one. The initial pressure was 19.97 millibars. The final pressure after two minutes was 19.86 millibars. So there's, on this installation there's been a pressure drop of 0.11 millibars. To print the readings, press the send button with the instrument pointed at the printer.